So I used to go in person before the pandemic. We had this amazing coach. Her name was Mickey. She was amazing. Uh, she retired and the person they uh, replaced her with is like a little bit too by the book, if that makes any sense. I understand there's a weekly topic every week, but I, um, with the pandemic, I probably attended, I don't know, 200 different meetings over the course of a couple of years. Uh, all over the country, California, Texas, all over. Um, and I finally st stumbled upon uh, Deb. I'll leave all, all her information down below, but um, so you can follow her on Instagram too. She's lost 200 pounds, has kept it off for 10 years. She's an amazing coach. She lets people talk. The group is usually like 100 plus people every week. It's Tuesday nights at 5 p.m. Central Time. And if you have the Weight Watcher app, all you need to do is go to groups, search and then you'll look for uh, New London, Connecticut and you can join us. It's so much fun. So just curious how many ounces of starchy things like potatoes and rice can you eat every day? So I'm not sure if that's like a general question for anybody or because I'm diabetic. Um, I take insulin so I can pretty much eat whatever I want which is good and bad. Um, but I would say just a normal serving size so a cup of rice is a serving like a four or five ounce potato is a serving and normally I would do even if I have potatoes for breakfast or rice for dinner I think that's fine so I'd say two to three servings of those starchy vegetables a day is just fine and I'm not a dietitian not a nutritionist I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about now <laughs> I'm just saying what works for me personally so um, if you find that you're not losing weight and you're e eating more starchy vegetables maybe limit that to two a day. So that's just my opinion on that. Um, so the next question is how I stay motivated when you hit a plateau. I've been stuck since the program changed. Um, I think that sometimes we can get a, in a rut, either good or bad. Like if we eat the same breakfast, same lunch, do the same workouts, um, eat exactly 23 points or whatever it is, I think you need to shake it up. So um, maybe for a week you add up all your weekly points so that's all your dailies and your weeklies and maybe if you're doing a lot of exercise throw them some activity points in there and let's just say you have 250 points to spend throughout the week and then um, maybe have a bigger dinner like 15 20 points but then adjust it for all the other meals around it so that you're kind of like um, making your body think a little bit harder if it's if you're doing the same thing and just know that plateaus happen all the time and you will like break through uh, one day, but don't give up. That's my uh, thing. Just to keep go keep going, and it'll you'll be fine. Um, how close are you to your goal weight? Uh, so I am now 164, I think, and um, I'm short. I'm five foot two, so the highest weight for my height is at 135. I think I'd be happy at 140. So if 140 is what I I'm is my goal. So that leaves me to 24 more, more pounds. So I'm hoping in 2023, then I'll be able to get to goal by the end of this year. Uh, do you plan your points and do you weekly plan or daily plan? So just like I was saying before, um, I, I look ahead to the week. So my day starts on over on Mondays. So on Sunday, I will look ahead. It's like maybe I have um, dinner over at my daughter's house. I don't know what she's making. And I have lunch out with a friend. I will put 25 points to each of those meals and then divvy up the rest of the points throughout the week. And what that does is it got me off the train of being on track or off track. Just because I had a 25 point dinner did not mean I was off track. I just happened to eat something that was higher in calories. So once I accounted for that and build the rest of my day around that, 
um, I have no more guilt about food or it's labeling something good or bad. Um, and that just mentally um, helped me this year. Um, have you managed, have you managed getting older as a woman? Oh, how have I managed uh, getting older as a woman and Weight Watchers? Has your weight loss been slower? Um, you know what? I, I think 30 pounds in a year is decent. Uh, I have so many people who have reached out to me so far this year. So we're getting on almost four weeks into 2023, uh, saying that they've only lost six pounds um, this month and they're ready to give up. It doesn't work. That's when you have to stay the course because a pound a week is good because that's 52 pounds in a year. But I think what everyone looks for instant gratification and when you don't see results and actually I would tell you last year by um, by my birthday. So that's the end of March. I lost eight pounds, but I had already lost inches because I was working out moving my body. So the scale just can't be your own determination of success. So keep keep going. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, do they still give extra points for veggies? Nope. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't eat that many vegetables anyway, so that wasn't a big deal when they changed that. Um, that being said, I still encourage you to try to eat vegetables. Um, I'm lucky if I get two cups a day, and that's how it, I make the lifestyle. I'm not all of a sudden going to start eating a salad for breakfast because that's just not me, and that's not a, a lifestyle that I would want to continue on. Uh, is it expensive? They have to, um, they have different uh, tiers. So I think the, there's one that is only virtual and then there's one that you can go to virtual meetings. Really, you only have to go to meetings uh, if you're a virtual member the last six weeks to get lifetime. Uh, but if you just go on the Weight Watcher um, uh, um, website, so it's w, I think it's just www.com, um, you can check out the prices there. Do you eat slightly over your daily points? How? So if you guys go, I'm going to put a little um, picture right here at, on your app. It, it looks like a target. It's the second icon in. Um, click on that target and then scroll all the way down. And then I'll show you this picture, which shows my healthy range. I get 28 points a day. Maybe it's because I have to count uh, points for fruit. But um, I the range there, I can eat 10 over and still be in the healthy range which is what everyone calls is like having a blue dot. And when you have a blue dot and you can see on my calendar here, the reason I have that is because I haven't gone over 38 points any day this month of January. Um, so yeah, I, I typically eat around, I'd say 32 to 34 points a day. And that works for me. Uh, newly diagnosed diabetic, how do you count carbs and do Weight Watchers? I am overwhelmed. Um, I know it can be really um, frustrating to try to figure it out. Um, I'm a type 1 diabetic, so I can I take one unit of insulin for every five grams of carbs I eat. So I do have a um, Lose It app on my phone if I need to like qu check something really quick. Um, I pretty much know though because I eat like a potato, rice, those things I eat all the time. So I kind of know in the back of my head how many carbs those are. But if you were just to put in like four ounce baked potato in your um, in your Weight Watcher app, I'll show a picture of what it looks like right here. If you just scroll down, you can see the calorie breakdown of whatever food you put in. And so then you can manually add it as you add it to your um, tracker. So hopefully that helps you with that. Um, how do I get my skinny pizza dough crispy on the bottom? So it doesn't matter if you use a baking steel or a cookie sheet, whatever you're baking it on, you need to preheat that vessel. So I have a baking steel. Um, I do have a discount code if you guys want to check it out. It's biz10, gets 10% 10 off. I I jumped up for joy because I tried to get a discount code with that company for years. Um, and uh, I preheat that for 60 minutes at 500 degrees. So if you're using like a jelly roll pan, which is like a heavy duty um, cookie sheet, uh, Put that in there for at least, I would say, half hour, 45 minutes. I wouldn't do it at 500 because I don't know if they can go that high. I would cook your pizza at 450, but just preheat that vessel because what happens is you want the pizza to start cooking from the bottom and the top at the same time. Uh, da, da, da. I'm not losing anything and staying with points and literally down zero pounds in four weeks. So there I would say maybe you might not be eating enough. If you are working out, you might want to add some activity points in. Also, like I said before, if you are doing the same thing over and over again, 
like same amount of um you know oatmeal for breakfast a, a turkey wrap for lunch and whatever for dinner i think you need to shake things up and uh don't get discouraged i think your body can get used to certain things and it just likes where it's at. So once you start changing things, maybe changing a workout, um, maybe walking 20 minutes in the morning before you eat breakfast, just sprinkle in some things that are a little bit different and see if that doesn't jolt your body um, to moving in the right direction. Um, so my favorite snacks. Uh, so that's probably the biggest question I get. I don't really eat a whole lot of snacks because since I have to take insulin every time I eat, that means I have to um, take another shot of insulin. I already take four shots as it is a day, sometimes more if my blood sugar seems to be high and I have to correct it. Uh, but I do like Safe and Fair's uh, uh, binge-worthy popcorn. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, that's like popcorn is like one of my favorite go-tos. Um, and pretzels. I like pretzels too because you can get a lot like just the pretzel rods. You can get like a half a cup for like four points and then if you dip it in like hummus or french onion dip uh, a tablespoon of french onion dip is only one point um so i can't really, i'm not really a good person to ask about snacks but i think i'm gonna find a link um of somebody who has like snacks from trader joe's so i'll leave that link down below uh how is the new program different so uh previous to november of 2022 that everyone had a personal plan and you could pick your personal food, your zero point foods. Now it's gone back. Everyone has the zero, same zero point foods, except for me, uh, since I'm diabetic, I chose the diabetic plan. So I have to count points for fruit. That does not deter me from eating fruit. I love it. So I'm still going to have my mandarin oranges and my cup of grapes and everything and just count the points and not even think about it. <clears throat> uh, I can't find the recipe builder. Um, I'll put a picture right here of where you can find it. It's up in the uh, right hand corner of your app and it says create. And if you just do the drop down, um, it says build recipe and that'll be in your library as long as you have it. So I usually do mine since I share them on social media. I'll just do my busy kitchen um, chocolate chip cookies, my busy kitchen vanilla bean scones. So I know that they're like my recipe, even though I know they are. Um, and then you can share that link with anybody else and they can track directly from that link. Um, what do you do when the point value is ridiculous, like four points for a tablespoon of jam? Just track it, it's okay. Uh, I do the same thing with my two tablespoons of International Delight. Um, I think that costs me like 50 calories, but it's four points. And in the back of my head, I'm just like, it's, it's okay. I track it and I move on. Can you eat more than one serving of zero point foods and still consider them zero? Uh, yes, you can, absolutely. But I think they chose the zero point plans because who's gonna binge eat um, chicken breast? Maybe you could, uh, I don't know. But I would say if you are noticing that you're not losing weight and you're eating eight ounces of chicken breast, maybe bring it down to like four and see if that changes anything. Uh, how do you make pickled jalapenos. Um, I actually buy them and I'll put a picture right here. They're just from Walmart and they're delicious. I put them on just about anything. Doing all the things and not losing the last few pounds. Any ideas? Um, kind of like what I was talking about before, just shake things up. Maybe one day if your daily point, like my daily points is 28, maybe, um, I have a 40 point day and then the next day I have a 20 point day, but between those two days, I'm still eating the right amount of points just to shake your body up and see if that uh, doesn't unstick you. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Is it hard for you tracking? What tips can you give? So I used to um, not track if I, th I thought it was bullshit. <laughs> so like a, like the, the coffee creamer, but I realized that it's just data and I basically do it as I'm finishing a meal. So it only takes like literally, and if I'm really busy that day, I do take pictures of everything I eat and it takes me literally five minutes at the end of the day. Um, I'm gonna show you right here. There's also a um, record button. So you can just hit that little microphone and you can search verbally and you can also do uh, emojis. I'll show you what that picture looks like too. So you can just put an emoji of avocado and you'll sh it'll show um, things. And so you can track faster that way. But if you just look on your phone, I bet if you have an iPhone, you could see how many hours probably you're on your phone today. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can carve out five minutes at the end of the day just to track your points. And I am proud to say I have tracked every single day 
even with 60 and 70 point days when I was traveling um, since December 26, 2021. So that's the longest streak I've ever had. And I think uh, uh, key to my success last year. Do you uh, weigh your food before or after it's cooked, like frozen French fries? Um, I normally do uh, before. So if it says three ounces as a serving, I weigh it before when it's frozen. It doesn't really matter. I think it's still gonna be the same weight before or after you cook it, especially on a frozen food like French fries, but I definitely um, weigh it before. Uh, I always join and then don't stick with it. What's the, uh, what's the secret for not throwing in the towel? Um, is getting the mindset that it's a diet because I think once you make it a lifestyle, uh, it just becomes your routine. And it took me probably three months to change that mindset of I'm on a diet to wait a second, I am actually using Weight Watchers as a lifestyle. And that's when things started to click and it became easy and I didn't feel I was depriving myself. I treat Monday through Sunday exactly the same. I used to like every Friday, just eat like an asshole from Friday to Sunday and then, you know, have to do damage control the following week. All it did was keep me on the hamster wheel of gaining and losing the same five pounds. So it takes time and it, it, you, it'll take a long time for you to even notice any changes in your body. Like it took me probably three or four months to, to see a difference, but I just kept going. And that's the key is just not giving up. Uh, da, da, da. I need some lunch ideas for work. Uh, I love soup for um, lunch because you can make a big pot at the uh, beginning of the week. I will recommend though, if you have a soup that has noodles in it to keep the noodles separate and then just marry the two. So I'm gonna leave um, links down to some of my favorite soup recipes that are easy, low point. I've got a broccoli chowder soup, a uh, potato soup, uh, lemon orzo soup, all super low in points. I also like to sip on those um, like late in the afternoon. Uh, if I'm feeling hungry before dinner, uh, just a cup of soup that's hot um, kind of fills me up. Uh, turkey wraps are always really good in the low carb wrap. Um, I'm gonna also leave a link for my friend Steph. Um, uh, she has an amazing blog and uh, she's got thousands of um, meal prep ideas because she actually goes into work. I, I don't, um, I work at home now, so it's not the same as when I work downtown. So I'll leave her information down below and you can follow her and she's got great, great advice. Um, how long have I been doing Weight Watchers? Um, since 1999, on and off. My sister and I joined in 1999 and we lost 70 pounds in 15 months. Kept it off for years uh, until my husband got sick in 2007 and then all of a sudden his needs came before mine. He passed away in 2014 and I coped with that loss um, pretty much eating like an asshole and drinking a lot. And I finally, in 2022, I was just like, I gotta do something different because I can't keep saying I'm on Weight Watchers when I'm actually not doing the program. In 2021, there was four months that I didn't track one thing in my tracker, not at all, not just one thing, not even a, um, a, like a cup of milk or anything. So um, what, was, what was I gonna say about that? Uh, 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 oh, how long have I been doing it? So um, it took me uh, just over 12 months to lose 30 pounds um, this last year. Uh, do, do, do. What's the point value of the skinny pizza dough? Uh, it's one point an ounce until you get to like four or five ounces, then it jumps up one because of Weight Watcher math. But the calorie count is so minuscule. I still count it one point an ounce, no matter how many, how many I'm using. Uh, so if you don't have a food scale, that's a quarter of the recipe is five ounces, roughly. Um, and that's what I use for my personal pizzas. Half of the dough is about 10 to um, 11 um, ounces, and that's enough for a 14 ounce um, pizza. Uh, so the app drives me crazy with different points for the same thing. I agree with you. Uh, so if I were to put in a chocolate chip cookie, I would obviously scroll down to the one that's the least amount of points and add that to my tracker. But what I do is I kind of look to see what it is. So let's just say it's a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A versus um, Arby's versus uh, Fridays. Obviously those are all gonna be different things. I just have to take into consideration what mine looked like or what mine was closest to and just do the best and track it and just move on. 
Uh, tips on building low point meals. Um, I have zero for that because I like bigger meals because that keeps me full. I found that I've, I was a point hoarder and it was having like a three point breakfast, a three point lunch and saving all my points at the end of the day. A, I'd be ravenous and then I'd overeat. Uh, also then I'm eating almost all my food right before I go to bed. So now I don't mind spending 10 points on breakfast, 10 points on lunch. That leaves me with 10 points for dinner and that seems to work for me. Uh, and it'll get you between one meal to the next that you're not eating extra snacks in between meals. But that's just my personal opinion. Do, do, do. Uh, what's a good serving size for chicken or beef? Uh, both technically are three ounces each is a serving. But with chicken, obviously that's a zero point food if it's a chicken breast. If you are hungry, I can sometimes do five five ounces of chicken. I could do easily do six ounces of beef. Uh, but if you feel like your um, weight is stalling or something like that, then just bring it back down to a three ounce um, serving, which is like the size of the palm of your hand. Uh, do your daily weekly points adjust based on the amount of weight you lose? Uh, yes, it always it's about your um, height, your weight, your age, your activity level, and as you get closer to your goal, your um, daily points come down and also your weekly points might go down, but uh, once you're in maintenance, you get some of those points back. So um, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, so I've started drinking uh, Catalan um, Fire Bone Broth. Why is it one point a cup? It's, there's no fat, no sugar, and 40 calories. It's because it's 40 calories. Pretty much anything over 25 calories is going to be a point no matter if there's zero fat, zero saturated fat, or sugar. So that's that's the basic answer for that. If I'm not seeing progress eating my exact points 23, should I stay under that? Nope, 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 nope. And in fact, I would even encourage you to someday have a 23 point day and then maybe the next day have a 21 point day and kind of toggle between it. Um, there's no reason that you have to st stick to exactly 23 points. And like I said, there is that window of eating 10 points over and still being in the healthy range. I encourage you, if you have not seen the, the scale move, to eat more food. And it sounds counterintuitive, but um, sometimes if we're not eating enough food, our body kind of like hangs on to what it has. And like again, I'm not a nutritionist. This is just what I've learned over the years on the internet. So consult your physician or your uh, nutritionist or whatever. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I wouldn't stick to exactly 23 points a day because then I think your body just gets used to that. Uh, we're almost to the end. Um, can you talk about swapping activity points and using weekly points? So uh, because I'll show you what my today's, uh, what this week looks like. It's almost the end of the week. I, I'll show you how many points I ha still have left in my weeklies. And that's because when I swim, uh, I have my um, Apple Watch on and it uh, syncs with the app and I get eight points every time I swim and I'm swimming five days a week. So that's 40 extra points that I'm getting. So uh, it looks like I'm not using my weeklies, but I, I, I am. So I, I'm, and even if I go over into my you know healthy range, eating closer to 38 points a day, I never see a negative in my weeklies because I don't use my activity points, if that makes sense. And that's totally up to you if you wanna eat your activity points. Uh, for me, I choose not to. Uh, if I was doing something strenuous like CrossFit or um, hiking seven miles or something like that, yeah, I would want that to use that for fuel to get me to do what I want to do. But for, for me and the uh, low impact workouts that I do, I don't think that I need to um, eat my activity points, but do eat all your weeklies. That is what they are there for. And I know a lot of people don't, don't want to spend those points but that's why they're there. Use your daily points, use your weekly points, and then the activity points is a personal preference. Um, do you feel like the new plan is working for you? I loved personal points, but now uh, struggle. Are you eating anything different than you were before? Because I know some people are like, oh, I loved having potatoes because they were free, and now I'm not eating potatoes, and now they're not happy, so they're eating other foods that they might not like. Just eat the foods that you like and count the points. Um, I highly recommend that you don't eliminate any food group. Uh, you know, I'm not, even though I'm diabetic, I'm not doing low carb or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, eat, if you were having success on the personal points, keep eating like that and just count it however it is. And I think that you'll find that uh, fits your lifestyle better and not really 
pay that much attention to what the points are at the end of the day because in the end you're still eating the same food hopefully that makes sense um, and that's it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A uh, hopefully this is not very long I don't the cameras I can't even see how long I've been talking but uh, obviously if you have any more questions leave them down below and then maybe I'll do a, a subsequent uh, video but uh, thanks for following along uh, if you like um, our channel uh, feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to notified of new um, new videos and uh, we'll see you next time